Welcome to Global Insiders Podcast. I am Ryan, the Perpropetic One, bringing you information about opportunities relating to jobs, traveling, and any information that can elevate you to your rightful place in this thing called life. You can find more information and how to methods on globalinsidersgroup.com. That is insiders with an S. And here is today's show. Hello, insiders. Today we have a special guest, Mr. Raymond Chambers, who has his own online business in the United States, in Houston, Texas to be exact. I know many of you are trying to become entrepreneurs, and our guest will teach you the fundamentals about starting your own business in the United States. Welcome to the show, Raymond. Hi, how are you doing? Thank you. Uh, let us dive right in. Uh, please give us a brief history about how and why you went to the United States. Uh, I went to the United States after going to high school and college in my country, which is Jamaica, and then I migrated. And after migration, I started college in the U.S. And after college, I started working. Oh, uh, did you did you did you work um, while attending college? Yes, very hard. I used to work <laughs> twelve hours per day and go to school four hours per day. Wow, Last sixteen hours per day. Wow, wow, up wow. and about. Wow, so that must have been very hectic and very taxing on you. For most part, yes, but it was rewarding. Looking back. It was stressful doing it, but now it gives me the vigor back then. Look as I said, it was it was worth it. Looking back. Okay, very good, very good. Um, did you did you pick up any particular skills from from those jobs at that period that period in your life? Yes, I picked up a lot of skills. I work used to work with um, Compaq. Ah, oh, I remember I that company. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the the. the Phased out after merger with HP back in 2001. Yes. Yeah. So I used to work for them. I started out building computers, which I have a very intricate background. I like electronics and I also like chemistry, biology. You're a science man. It goes in that order. Well, I have an engineering mind. <laughs> Put it that way. <laughs> okay, wonderful, wonderful. Yes, yeah, so you were saying um, you worked with Compact and you picked up um, some skills from Compact. Yeah, I worked, yeah, picked up a lot of skills. I worked in several different departments. I worked in, in the manufacturing aspect, the administration aspect, um, the sales environment. So I actually like sales because these days if you're not selling anything, you're not going to make no money. So I, yes. I actually like sales. So was that your first job or did you have something before that? I had um, other retail jobs like uh, being a cook and working in the kitchen area. I used to wash dishes, those kind of stuff. Very industrious, so, but, very industrious man. It's hard working, you know. You know, <laughs> and going to school, you need to pay that uh, tuition, and that tuition is very high. You used to pay like about six thousand dollars every three months for for uh, for tuition for college. So I had to work that money. Yes. But I didn't want to have any student loans, so I made sure to work hard, have that money come when beginning of the semester to pay that um, school fee. Okay, very good. What made you decide to start your own business? My own, I started have that. I used growing up, my parents they always only one business. Um, I always wanted my own business growing up. I have that in mind, but I never actually knew what era or what field I want to have my business. In. Okay. But I just knew I wanted a business. So <clears throat> after being in America for some time and working for a, co- a few different companies, um, one day I was working for this particular company and I was actually doing the accounting. I was um, an area manager. And going through the books, um, I realized that 
I was working very hard, but the amount of money they were making from the work that I was doing, I realized that, hey, you know something? <laughs> I have a lot of skills here and I have ideas I need to actually put them in, into practice. So then some things which I've known from working in different um, areas, I put them into play. I had, um, when you saw Compact, I used to buy a lot of their um, products. So I had a lot of their products, some new boxes that I didn't use. So I started selling on eBay. Um, okay. They actually, they actually sold. So that gravitated me towards selling online. So then I started looking how to get products to sell online and going back and forth, different, trying different stuff, find out what works, what didn't work, what people want. They gave me ideas and that's what gave me the fundamentals of to establish my business and okay. being where it is today. Fantastic. So what I'm getting from this is that um, you basically realized that your talents were good enough for you to do your own business. And in one of, the, one of those talents um, was the fact that you knew how to source products. So fantastic. Um, what is the first thing someone needs to do in order to start their own business, Raymond? One of the first things I think you need to do is... Um, have your like your niche, I would say, like do some research on it. Say you have an idea about say right you want to write a book or find out about the marketing, the whole enchilada as they say here in Texas. <laughs> find out everything about it, what you're going to get into because business is a trial and f failure and a lot of business you start out and you fail and you can't give up. You have to try again. It's all right, you learn from that mistake, you carry over things that work well stuff that work, work, work out properly, you leave them behind. But it's like trial and error, basically. It's just like a balance sheet where you try, you're trying to balance the balance sheet, but sometimes it doesn't balance out. Wow. So you, you have to continue to work on it I really didn't, until you're finally... I really didn't expect that answer, but that's a fantastic answer because that is true. Like, um, recently I've been learning that you actually want to start something and you actually want to fail when you just start because you will learn so many lessons when you fail. And persons might hear that and say, oh, wow, you are crazy. But the truth is, you actually failing will teach you the nitty-gritty or the thing that you want to do. And that is where, as you said, the niche is. And that is where you will start seeing some, some profits. So that was a great... Well, one other, thing that, one other thing that you can do you can copy any other business that you see on the market um, if they don't have a, a, a trademark or a patent on whatever they're doing. You could copy that also too. Yes. And you'll make money from that because no one business control the entire market segment that that particular business is in. So that's one other thing that you could do also. Yes. Just find a business and copy. It's like the old saying goes, the wheel has already been made. No use to go around making your own wheel, just copy it but copy it smartly don't copy it wholesale yes of course of course and, as, and, it, and that goes to what you were saying earlier also regarding finding out the niche because once you copy that company you will find out where you can get in and start making some profits so i mean the united states you have to do a lot of um registrations when you start a business um what is the first thing a person needs to register or the first document that they need to get in order to do a business including one online well, online business, um, you don't necessarily have to be registered. It all depends on the formation of your company. Yes. If you want to be... So they definitely uh, have to for form a company then? No, you can do it um, personally because um, the tax code, um, it, it allows you to do many different things because the tax code here is hectic. And so you can um, be a private individual who's selling stuff online. You can do that. Or it could be a partnership between you and somebody else, or a family member, or a friend, or another company. Uh, so it can be a limited liability company, or it can be a corporation, and a corporation have different form or different structure. It can be a C corp or S corp, and then you have other structures also within the formation of companies. Okay. So once you figure out how you want to form 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 your company, if you're gonna be personal or limited liability or partnership or corporation from there you choose if you want to register for a corporation a limited partnership um 
you, you don't register with your, with your state that you're, with, which you're in or you want to do business with him. And once you do that, you get your survey ticket from there. You go to the IRS, apply for your business tax identification number. From there on, I'll say open a bank account in the company name. And from there, you can start doing your business transaction. Let's, let's, stick, a, let's stick up in. Let's stick up in. Why is it important for an individual to open a company account and not just use their personal account? From your experience. From my experience, you need to have separation between you and the business for liability issues because when it comes to for taxes purpose, you don't want to have things jumbled because at the end of the year, you're going to have to file the taxes and you want to have your personal documents separate from your business documents. That way, it's organized and you don't have to be searching for stuff at the end of the year to file your taxes. Okay, very good, very good. Thank you. Very comprehensive answer, I think. Um, how do you compare working for others and working for yourself? How do you compare it? Or com- well, working for yourself, from, to me, for me, is very rewarding because how I look at it, all the work that I do, um, I'm rewarded for it, um, making money for myself versus working for someone else and all the work that I do, um, the profit goes to that business because for to an employee, to a business, um, it's just the employee to do the work, the employee time, the buying the time in a sense. And you're getting paid a salary or hourly wages, which is most cases is like a very minute percentage of the cost of what you are contributing into that business when doing the, that's one of the contracts so you're working for yourself all the hard work that you put in you will see it in the profits when you're doing your balance sheets or you're doing a trial balance you will see that money there and it's you know say hey that's my hard work there you see it and say hey I did that for myself it, to me it's more fulfilling and rewarding because the harder you work you know hey the more the more money I'm gonna make. Yes. And it is gonna feel good and it gives you more leisure time after over a period of time because right now my time is my time. It's not belong to anybody so you have to actually get up in the morning, get, get dressed, get caught up in traffic just to get to work. All that stress I don't have to deal with. Yes. For me, it's my time is my time and can structure my time accordingly at work. Now, whenever I feel like, but I can do the work. It's, in a it's your time. Where, you structure, you structure your day. Stressful. Yes, you structure your day. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Fantastic. So, I mean, a lot of persons might be thinking, oh, they can't do this. They can't get up and, and start their own business. But what, 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 are the really, the, what are the real challenges? What are the major challenges? What should they be on the lookout for? Uh, the real challenge to me, I think, is knowledge. Because sometimes you may have the idea, but you don't necessarily have to know about doing whatever you, you want or how to translate that idea into something that's going to work out for you. So there are a lot of resources these days because back then, back in, back in the early 2000s when I started, uh, I didn't know what I do, but it was a lot of trial and error, as I said, and I learned from those mistakes, and I did a lot of reading. And through experience, work experience, I had some base knowledge, but there was still more knowledge needed. So these days, I, I recommend do some research, a lot of resources out there. Uh, go online, read. Like I said, if it's an idea that's doing that someone else is doing, find out everything that that person knows and can copy it. And it should work. Is there any one res- as long- is there any one resource that you would recommend? If if any one resource? Yes, it- I would recommend not the one resource because to me you can get information from several different sources, and not all one source would have all the information necessary for your business. Because, for example, um, there's laws that you have to follow. That's one of the things you have to make sure you're not doing anything that's illegal. And in business, 
you're going to find out there's a lot of laws and regulations that you must comply with. So you have to make sure that that's one thing that you're paying attention to because you don't want to do anything that can get yourself in trouble. Exactly. In trouble. You, don't, you don't want to go searching for freedom and end up behind bars. So, so that's what I'm saying. That there's no one particular um, entity that will give you all information. There's a lot, lot, um, you have to do a lot of reading. Do research. You have to do research. Yeah. Okay. Are there any incentives for immigrants to become entrepreneurs in the United States? I don't think there's an incentive versus uh, um, uh, immigrants over um, citizens. Um, American citizens. Yes. Citizen. To me, the, the opportunity is, is there for everyone. It's just just there. And if you seek it, you shall find it. So that's how I look at it. Okay. There's no benefit. One no special other. benefit. It's just a matter of you and your ambition and your hard work that you're willing to put into it. Okay. Uh, would you do anything differently if you could do it all over again in terms of how you started your business and how you went about doing your business? No, because if I did anything different, it wouldn't be as it is today. Uh, I thought of this the other day. I was like, would I want to do anything different? I like no and the reason for that is i like the way it is right now i like the structure and i keep up with the trends the market trends i do a lot of reading and i watch what my competitors are doing and uh, i follow all the trends in the, in the marketplace um, okay so i keep up on that i keep up i keep up with the marketing trends. all right fantastic i know what to know fantastic if a friend was to say raymond I am going to start a business next month. What would you What would you say to that friend? I wish him good luck, <laughs> and I say, um, <laughs> do, do a lot of reading, and if you need some advice on a particular issue, all right, just a general subject in in, in matter. Because sometimes you may have a particular thought, but you may not have thought everything through. Sometimes it's good to have friends to bounce your, your initial ideas with, and they can give you feedback. That way, you, sometimes they can give you a different perspective than what you're in, and that's always good to have someone to throw your ideas at and hear, give them for them to give you back feedback on their perspective or their thoughts on your ideas. Okay, fantastic. So I will say that. Fantastic. So you'd basically wish them all the best and help them wherever you can help them. That sounds great to me. So thank you very much for sharing with us today. And all the best. All right. Thank you. All right. You're welcome. Thanks for listening today. I hope you are inspired. You can find more helpful and motivational material at globalinsidersgroup.com. That is, insiders with an S. You can also keep in touch at Global Insiders on Instagram. See you next time. But remember, you can be your own superhero. <laughs> Bye.